Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a deeper look at Profile Manager. Uh, if you'll remember back to uh, an earlier episode in our Mountain Lion Server series, I showed you how to set up Profile Manager. And if you haven't seen that uh, particular tutorial yet, you might want to click the link in the show notes and go back and view that one first. I'll also uh, set up a playlist of everything related to Profile Manager so that you can walk through it a step at a time. But, uh, but once you get it set up, this is what it looks like. This is how uh, the screen is set up. Now what we're going to do today is I'm going to take a look at Profile Manager itself and we're going to talk a little bit more about how do you use Profile Manager. Because this particular service in Mountain Lion Server really is one of those services that really makes it all worth it. Because it allows you to change profiles and things for your iOS devices or for your Macs. And it allows you to push those things to those devices remotely. And so it really is a nice, uh, nice system, a really great way to bring some of the power of enterprise server stuff uh, into the realm of home users. And so I think it's something that you'd enjoy and like. And so, uh, as you can see, the service is on. It's already started. We've got the green dot. All of that's ready to go. One of the things I always want to remind everybody, again, even though I'm going to show you more details this time, and we talked about it last time, is to make sure, you can come over here to your router, make sure that you've got Profile Manager service showing so you know that the service is open so that you can access it uh, over the Internet, or otherwise the service is going to fall a little short for you. Uh, but once all those things are ready to go, then you're set and you can make Profile Manager happen. Now, you'll notice right here that in the default configuration profile area, I've got this checkbox that says include configuration for these services. And you'll notice I've got calendar, VPN, messages, and uh, contacts. And that's because once when those things are set up over here and those things are running, they automatically show over here on a default configuration profile, assuming that you want those services available on all of your devices. So it really does make, a, uh, make for a neat uh, setup because it does a lot of that for you automatically. If you wanted to, you could come in here and edit the, the name for this profile, but I'm just going to leave it as settings for everyone. Now you'll notice we've got two links here. We've got one for visiting the user profile, and that is where you're able to sort of manage, manage the devices. I'm going to show you what that looks like on a remote computer. And the other says Open Profile Manager, and so if you just click that link, it pulls up Profile Manager. Now I've already done that and loaded it so we can see it a little quicker, and so this is what Profile Manager looks like. Now I want you to notice that it is a web interface. And so the neat part about this is you can access your profile manager over the web anytime you want. So that you don't have to be sitting in front of your server in order to manage some of these profiles and make changes and things like that. You can actually be uh, away from your server and do this type of management remotely. So it really is a neat service to have. Now when you look at this, uh, and, and when you come here normally it's going to ask you to log in with your credentials, and so you'll want to log in with your uh, you know, username and password to get in here. But you'll notice it's a very familiar three-pane setup. Right over here you've got your list of items. We've got the library where it lists our devices, our device groups, our users and our groups, and uh, different tasks. You've got uh, in here the different groups of people. All right, so that's uh, everyone. I, I set up a kid's profile earlier when I was showing you some of those uh, setups. And you've got uh, work group, which basically is all of the people that you've got uh, set up as your users usually go into the work group. And then over here, you've got profiles, and these profiles relate to whatever you've selected here. So these are the profiles for everyone. And you'll notice on here that we've got all of these things set up. Now, I'm going to go into more detail about how to use this later, but I just wanted to show you what Profile Manager itself looked like. What we want to do first so that it makes it more interesting is I want to get some devices in here that we can manage, and then when I take it to the next step to show you how this works, that way we'll have the devices in there, because that's really the first thing that you're going to want to do is have your devices set up. So I want to show you how to make that happen. So if I pop this down, what I've done is I've got a screen share uh, to show you what this looks like on a client computer. So this is a screen share with another computer. Uh, you can see that I've got my login here for my domain. And uh, so what you're going to do is if users uh, need to manage their particular devices, the great thing is they can go to the website and actually enroll and manage their devices. And so basically you're going to put in uh, HTTPS and make sure that that S is on there or you won't get to the website. That just means it's a secure site. You'll put colon backslash and then you'll put in, you know, your uh, domain name. So it's, you know, server.example.com or whatever you put. And then just backslash my devices, one word. And I've got that up on the screen for you to see. Now once you've done that, it'll take you right here to uh, this web page where you log in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in with my own uh, credentials here. 
on this remote computer and uh, it's going to log me in and I'm presented with this screen and this is the device enrollment screen and this is where you're able to enroll the devices and so what it's asking me right now it says hey I know you're on a Mac right now do you want to enroll it now you normally would think oh yeah I've got to click enroll but first what we need to do is we need to go to this tab right here that says profiles and that's because we've got this trust profile uh, for my uh, server uh, because if you remember we set up a self-signed uh, SSL certificate. We didn't set up a certificate that we bought from an outside place on the internet where you know it can be checked and authenticated out there. We set up our own self-signed certificate. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install this particular trust profile on our computer so that um, that way the, the computer knows that it's okay to trust our server. And uh, you can see it's got a little more details where it shows the contents where you can see what's on this particular profile and it's just my SSL certificate. So let's install that on my computer. So if I just click this button here, it's going to uh, go and install this on my computer. And so what it's going to do is it should, uh, in a minute here, it'll pull up uh, system preferences because it's going to install this. And so what it says is, hey, do you, you sure you want to install this profile? So the device profile is going to allow you to sort of configure the Mac and those kinds of things. And so I say, yes, sure, continue. So I click continue, and it says, are you sure you want to do this? And I say, yeah, install. And it kind of gives you that warning because, again, it's going to allow this to happen. Now you got to put in your um, administrator uh, privileges on there, your username and password. And then it's going to go now, and it's going to install that certificate. And you can see now the certificate is installed. And you'll notice it does say unsigned, okay, because that's an unsigned certificate. What that means is we don't have an outside uh, outfit that is uh, vouching for our server, uh, our server certificate. We're the ones doing it ourselves, okay? So that profile now is sitting in my uh, system preferences. In fact, if I show all here for a minute, you'll notice that when you do this, it adds this little area here for profiles. And so when you don't have those profiles, that area disappears, but it adds this area for profiles. So uh, it's nice now that I now I know that that this particular computer uh, is is now has the trust certificate. Okay, I'm going to pop this down. You notice I've got other things already that have been set up on here, but let me just move this down for a minute. And so what I could also do if I wanted to is I could do the settings for everyone right here too if I wanted to do that. So if I just say show contents, it's going to basically put all of these different things here uh, on my computer and automatically configure them for me so that they're ready to work. And so as I've shown you in the different tutorials and I, I kind of mentioned with calendar and VPN and stuff, I said, hey, you can set it up manually or you can do it this way. And this is an easy way to be able to install those profiles on your computer. So it really is a, a great system and setup because it makes those things happen automatically. And once you click install, uh, it goes ahead and sets them up. In fact, I can show you um, on here because I've already done it. See, VPN is set up. It's all set up already for my system and the settings for everyone, which basically sets up all my different settings. Everything's right there on these different profiles. So I had already done that, and so that's why uh, those things are already on there for me. Now, what we got to do now is we want to make sure we enroll our device because remember we wanted to put our devices into Profile Manager, and so. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it on uh, a Mac. So this would work on all of your laptops and your iMacs and those kinds of things. You just click this Enroll button to make it happen. So we click Enroll. And so again, it pulls this back up and says, hey, you want to enroll this, this uh, device? I say, sure, continue. Again, are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. So I install it. And so now it's going to go and install uh, the enrollment certificate for this particular computer so that now this computer is going to be um, able to be remotely managed and so it's asking me if I want to do that I say sure and continue and are you sure you really want to do this yes I do and so it's gonna basically install this now so that uh, my computer can be remotely managed now if I just put this down for a minute and I, uh, I, I did that now so that should be ready to go I come back to uh, this area here and what should happen is it should begin to show my computer up here. So let me log out for a second and log back in just to see if that change took, took effect. And there we go. So sometimes you have to refresh it to see the change. And so I just logged out and logged back in. And you can see right now that there is my laptop. My laptop has been enrolled. And this Mac is all set. And now I have the option to lock my computer from the, from the web device, or I can even wipe my computer. If someone's stolen it and I have information on there that I don't want them to get a hold of, I can actually wipe my computer and get rid of the uh, information on it. 
So a pretty great way to do it. If I eventually don't want this on here, I can always just click Remove, and it will remove it then from being managed by my server. But for now, that's how you do that. And so if I had other devices that were under my name, such as, uh, as I'll show you later, uh, iPhones and stuff like that, those would show down below here, and all those devices would get added then onto Profile Manager. So let me, uh, let me, put, this, uh, let me put this screen share down for a minute, and let me go back to uh, Profile Manager for a second and show you that now if I look on the devices here and you'll see I've got other devices there but right at the top here is my computer that I just enrolled now it's showing right at the top everything's ready to go it's saying hey I've got you uh, I've got settings set up I've got the general information there and now my laptop's been enrolled and so you can do that for all of your other uh, laptops and Macs in your household uh, what I'm gonna do uh, in another screencast is I'll show you how this works for iOS devices so that you can enroll those as well so that's all I have for this week, uh, showing you how to enroll devices in Profile Manager. I'll come back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.